Hey guys, welcome to the 30,000 rupees gaming PC build in which I have used Ryzen 3 3100 which has the base clock of 3.6 GHz and max boost clock up to 3.9 GHz and the TDP is 65W. It costed me around 8000. Next a Corsair Vengeance single 8GB RAM stick clock up to 3000 MHz. Next Gigabyte B450M. It is an entry level B450 motherboard which costed me around 7000 rupees. Next is Gigabyte P450B. For the price it is a steel deal for 2 1500 bronze rated 80 plus power supply next is the cabinet which is a fairly local x pro x cabinet which cost me around 1000 rupees actually i wanted to invest more in the components rather than just on looks I have paired this processor with the GTX 1060 which has 6 gigs of VRAM which is a used graphic card which costed me around 6000 rupees. It can game basically all titles in 1080p high settings on 60 fps. The first benchmark software is Heaven Benchmark. Here we have set everything to high and the resolution is 1080p. Here we are getting minimum frames of 40ish fps and maximum we are getting around 80-70 fps. 70 to 80 fps you can fast forward to 40 seconds to directly see the next benchmark Now we are going to try Cinebench R15, but it is a very good software to compare this new processor with the old ones and see the difference. So Ryzen 3 3100 was able to score 986 points which is a lot higher than the i7 4700K which is also 4 core 8 thread processor not to mention it also has a more higher clock up to 4.4 GHz but still Ryzen 3 3100 is able to beat the i7 4700K next up Cinebench R20 this is a fairly heavy benchmark tool So our Ryzen 3 3100 scored 2274 points and it is very close to i7 7700K which is also a 4 core 8 thread processor. Finally the gaming benchmarks. Now we are going to try Assassin's Creed Unity which is a very good game. It is famous for many reasons, it is a good gameplay, good storyline but also for its bad optimization especially for PC. So now at 1080p high settings. We are getting about 70 to 80 fps and strong response time up to 20 milliseconds which is very good compared to uh, any budget PC. For 30k it is worth it. This performance is on par with any consoles in market like a PS4 or even Xbox One. Now the gameplay you are watching is on 1080p ultra settings everything is maxed out 
here we are getting minimum 40 fps up to 50 plus fps and response time is not that bad but it's still fluctuating from 20 to 30 milliseconds any assassin grid game is incomplete without the leap of faith so let's check it out Next and final game is Watch Dogs 2. Watch Dogs 2 is also a game which is not optimized well and it is very complex compared to other games. It is very interactive with the environment. That's the main reason why it is not optimized well. At 1080p ultra setting, everything maxed out. We are getting around 40 to 50 FPS. Same like Assassin's Creed Unity. And the response time is also good. Like it is fluctuating from 20 to 30 milliseconds but most of the time it is sticking to 20 milliseconds as you can see this processor can handle any game if paired even more powerful graphic card, it can mostly play any game. As you can see, this processor is very powerful, and for price tag of Rs. 8000, it is a value for money processor. If paired with a nice graphic card, you can play any game in 1080p 60fps at high or maybe even ultra settings, or you might have to tweak a few settings. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay guys. All the components I have used in this build, I will mention it in description. Also all the links from where you can buy it. I prefer offline stores because I got a bundle of processor and motherboard for 1000 or 2000 cheaper than any online price. You can hunt the online or offline market and get the best deal possible. That's the end of this video guys. I hope you like it. Later.